I'm Dr. David Pryor, orthopedic spine surgeon here at Salem Regional Medical Center. Today I'm going to be talking about a problem called cervical radiculopathy, which means pain from the neck that goes and travels into the arm. Cervical radiculopathy, like sciatica, is pain that comes from the neck and goes into the arm. It's usually caused by a pinched nerve in the neck. The most common cause of pinching of the nerves is a herniated disc. Some of the symptoms that are common with cervical radiculopathy are neck pain, pain in the arm, numbness and tingling, and sometimes even grip strength loss or the hand feeling somewhat clumsy. If you're experiencing symptoms of cervical radiculopathy or pain in your neck that's traveling into your arm, the best thing to do is come in for an initial visit with me in the office. Oftentimes we'll get plain film x-rays to look at the bony structures in the neck and sometimes if the pain and exam findings are significant, we'll order an MRI to look further to see if there's a pinched nerve in the neck. If we diagnose you with cervical radiculopathy from a pinched nerve in the neck, the good news is that a vast majority of the time we can treat you and get you better without having to do surgery. Some of the treatments include stretching, exercises, physical therapy, massage, chiropractic, and medications. In more advanced cases, some people get steroid injections in the neck called cervical epidurals. Very rarely, we do sometimes have to operate on this condition as well. Thankfully, most people with cervical radiculopathy will heal and recover and feel better without having to have surgical intervention. Most of the time, it can take a few months to get back to normal, but with the treatments that we have, there's a good chance you won't ever have to have surgery. If you do have surgery, the recovery can be similar in that it takes a few months to fully feel better. Some causes of cervical radiculopathy can be from an overuse injury or poor ergonomics or posture. So some preventative measures that you can do on your own are making sure that your head and neck are always in an upright posture and that you're not looking down or hunching over too much, that if you lift anything heavy, you do it appropriately and you don't do anything beyond your means, and also avoiding smoking if possible. To summarize, cervical radiculopathy or pain coming from the neck and traveling into the arm is a very common finding that can happen from overuse injuries or poor posture and it's usually caused by a disc herniation that's pinching a nerve in your neck. Good ways to avoid that are maintaining a good posture and not doing too many strenuous activities and avoiding smoking. If this should happen, however, please come see us in the office and we'll do a thorough exam and evaluation and we'll give you the best treatment you can from a non-surgical perspective. And if we need to talk about surgery, we can do that as well. But a vast majority of people thankfully get better without ever having to have surgery.